y'all. It's been a little minute, man. <laughs> but we're back. We're going to watch episode 12 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Laura Sama got our ass whooped, literally. <laughs> and then she vanished from thin air. Like, where'd she go? And our girl Bazer now is the Supreme Commander. And are we going to get to see what's going on with Venachan? Let's hop right into it. Subscribe, my boy. Ooh, we're doing some reconstruction. What? She got minions? Yo, the girl's doing some hard labor. Damn, she even sit like a delinquent. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they did volunteer work. They do it all. Oh, squad. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, Rocky. <laughs> what did she say? She said, you want to lay your head in this bosom. Yo, Kiwi's still squeezing him. She said her brain is tired. Oh, it did? I mean, you could have just kept her older. I mean, that's true. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that excuse. Are you, of course, you pushed her out of the way. She said, move, bitch. Oh, of course, it's so cute. Oh, she's thinking about Zer. Oh, oh, yeah, because you did. You fucked her up. But, but she probably allowed her to access that new form we didn't see. Maybe that had something to do with it. Eh? Oh, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> huh? Oh, she excited. Oh! <laughs> she says, spoiler alert. Oh, look at the fighting. Right, they're doing the Avengers thing. I like the fact that they're actually bringing up what happens after the city is destroyed, after the cool fight scenes, after the amazing transformations. What happens to the smaller people that has to rebuild the city? I like that they're causing attention to it. That's the Avengers effect. Yup. Yup. What are these things? Did they make these into figures in Japan? Oh, she putting work in. Oh, I rock with this. This is where you have the appreciation for the things that you destroy. You gotta be a little careful. Oh, let's go. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Look at that big ass mallet. Straight out of Looney Tunes. I like this type of episode. It brings everything back to a perspective. Like it's reality. Like the magical girl shit is cool and all, but... Yo, the city, like, bro, these fucking superhero movies, bro, they be destroying the city. Was she about to pass out? Oh, she's just crying. Like, I got a question, and I know somebody had answered this to me, like, way back in, like, episode two. But, like, I understand that they have some kind of magic that's kind of, like, cloaking them. But does that also fall into when they have figures made about them? Because Haragi has figures of all the girls. She doesn't question that they look like her classmates. Now, there's a difference between cloaking the person themselves, hiding the identity, and having an exact figure of yourself created. So, I don't know. Is that also another, like ass pull loophole thing that i don't really know about just just a, just a thought uh, she feels much better now i mean you broke her haragi you did she just put herself back together and i still think she's kind of fragile the slightest touch from um Bazer is gonna knock her out hands down hey yo them things are cute bro i ain't even gonna cap she's staring at her bosom she is Oh my gosh, Haragi. What is she going to ask? What is this? Oh, to give her a massage. What is going to happen? Yo, she is going to turn Seo on while she's at work. I said the slightest touch a few minutes ago. Oh, look at her. She getting to touch her idol. Bro, imagine running up to your favorite singer or actor and asking for a massage and they let you. Crazy. She finna get fired up. Oh, she went straight for the waist. The glutes. Oh! <laughs> oh! She went straight for the ass. Y'all are in broad day. Sayo, you ain't gonna stop her. This is a civilian. 
<gasps> oh, she, she said, I'm going to need that tension out of you. This is technically still a massage. <gasps> no. You don't. No. Oh, shit. She going in there bare. No, that's not the type of massage she was ready for. She's spreading it. Well, I'll be. She finna sniff it. Oh, look at this shit. Oh! Oh! She's broken again. She malfunctioned. Yo. Look at her eyes. You spread her open at the construction site. She said the way she used her fingers. Is she gonna catch on to that? Is she gonna find out that she's Baser? That'd be cool. Oh, this is wild. Look at her body compared to her neck. Don't let me get started, y'all. Oh, her energy is different now. She's with it. The Supreme Commander. What's the path, though? Ah! <laughs> Basically what we've been doing. <laughs> so we just play and pretend now. Exactly. Sounds just like Hiragi. Oh, that's ruined, girl. That's over. <laughs> she came over to use your switch. Hey, they also going shopping too. Oh, she definitely deserves something. She's been putting in work. Oh, wow. That is adorable. <laughs> she like you have good taste. <laughs> oh, Haruka's here. She, oh, look at all her sisters. Damn, there's a bunch of them. Damn, everybody's gonna meet up with Haragi this episode. Look at the faces on the sisters. That middle one is like indifferent. Aw, more friends for Korisu. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Kiwi. <laughs> isn't, isn't that like for Gundams? Oh, like Ultraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gridman. Y'all ever seen SSS Gridman? Why is she transformed? Right. Wait, what? No shot. What? Why is she doing this? What? Why is she attacking him? Damn, she just went on her own. Yeah, try to avoid as much as you can. You're trying to direct her. <laughs> Damn, I thought we was gonna get another little scene with Coracle as well. What is this? Oh, she's giant as well. Now you know we didn't need this shot. Yo, look at this little, is that, oh, that's a girl though. Oh, okay, I'm about to say, I was like, look at that little nigga. Oh, they all taking pics. Oh yeah, she got the uh, exhibition king. That's a solid kick. Oh, she's giant in them stilettos. She almost fucked up the Honda. Oh, what? No shot. That's one way to get her. Who's calling for her? Are her fans? Oh, her sisters. Oh, her sisters are her fans. That's cool. Oh, that's a cool shot. Right, why y'all just standing there? What the fuck? Could have been jumped in. They thought this was a one-on-one -on -one fade? Oh, wow. Why are you there, Sayo? Oh, they finna fight on her body parts. This is on another level. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, of course it's like, charge. <laughs> Where are they right now? <laughs> Yo, are they fighting on her vagina? Oh, wow, they haven't been face-to-face -face in quite some time. I wonder how that's gonna play out. Oh yeah, she can't breathe in that bosom. Yo, they were fighting in a... What the fuck? Oh! Oh shit. Oh, now they'll see everything. Now this is a different story. Oh, they missed the fight. Damn, they got her out here free balling now. This like, what, the second time? I wonder why they all got different types of names. You would think they would have just variations of like Haruka. Like Haruna, Haru. Aww. We saw her butt. Oh yeah, this is the indifferent one. This 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 one means more. Yeah. Not the ginky ones. 
My Team Rocket. She just wanted to play, man. Yeah. Wow, this was a nice episode. This was nice. If they ended it right here, that would have been cool. Well, what, what, what could they be doing for the last, the real last episode? Because that felt like a finale. We got a lot of follow-up to the the direction that Haragi wants to take Inormita. We got to spend a little bit more time with the with Tresmagia, learning yet some more about her. We still don't really have like a backstory on Karako yet, so I'm assuming that's like later on in the manga. So I'm guessing, if I were to theorize, I think that a new threat is gonna probably pop up in the last episode because we don't have Lord anymore. But you know, just guessing, just guessing. And then we will top off gushing over Magical Girls. This has been a great ride. Can't wait to see what's gonna happen at the end. And y'all already know what the deal is. It's your boy, Kabari. Take it easy.